Wouldn't it be nice to have some career advice from someone with 10 years of professional engineering experience? Well, good thing you found this video because in today's show, we're gonna hear from the man behind the engineers, students, and recent graduates community, Thomas Anderson. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. And if this is your first time to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos three times a week for engineering success. And if you want the 1% Engineer Kit, guys, which is a bunch of eBooks and resume templates, click on the link in the description and I'll send you a copy. Building this community has resulted in me knowing lots of awesome engineers like Thomas Anderson, Anderson, so I had a sweet opportunity to interview him about his journey building his community of engineers, students, and recent graduates. And I'm super happy to give you those responses to these awesome questions. But really quickly, why should you care about what Thomas has to say? Thomas is a mechanical engineer with over a decade of professional experience. He attended Point Park University where he achieved his degree in mechanical engineering, where he was president of the school's engineering club. And he's since worked for several companies and learned a lot about what is required to be successful in engineering. Today, Thomas's community is over 1,200 engineers. Woo! And shout out to Ash Norton for connecting us. Beyond this, Thomas is working on his competent leader distinction for Toastmasters. He gives engineering talks for universities in the Pittsburgh area. He's planning a senior design course for his alma mater and volunteers for the career fair efforts for his local engineering society. Killing it, Thomas, that's 1% engineer status. So let's jump right into it, guys. I'm gonna give you the questions in advance so you know this video is worth Worth watching till the end. Why are you building your community, Thomas? How do you network with engineers online, particularly on LinkedIn? Here's where it gets good, guys. Number three, what are the biggest struggles that you see engineers having and what advice do you have about those? Four, what are the biggest mistakes that you see young engineers making? And five, if you have one core takeaway from your experience in your professional engineering career so far, what would that be and why? And bonus, here's number six, recommend one book, please. Okay, so number one, Thomas, what inspired you to make your engineers, students, and recent graduates group on LinkedIn? which has become an engaging community ever since. Thomas says, I decided that I'd like to give back to the engineering community in a different way. He's had success helping students in his office and he wants to create a community, create a platform to scale that and help more engineers. Late one night, he received a LinkedIn message with a resume attached from a young engineer. It was a recent graduate looking for a job. He started the LinkedIn group that very night and here we are today. Let's get it started. Two, your group is 1,200 engineers strong. I'm personally very impressed by this. Do you have any advice for networking on LinkedIn? Where do you meet engineers online, Thomas? Thomas says, in order to meet engineers online, you have to have a connection with them. You have to have something in common. And what he means by this is if you're a mechanical engineer, it's probably a little bit easier to connect with mechanical engineers. I've talked about this before, guys. Message engineers in your area who have gone to your school and definitely in your niche of engineering. He says he uses his keywords like EIT, Engineering Pittsburgh, graduate engineer. He puts his content into groups like the American Society for Mechanical Engineers and the PMP group. And people see this, they're attracted to that free value up front. He made several hundred connections. He builds a relationship with them, maybe says happy birthday and invites them to the group. You guys can be doing the same to build relationships on LinkedIn. And what better than to share content? And these young engineers see that right off the bat through the engagement in the group and it creates an awesome community. So hats off to you, Thomas. Thank you for all that you do. Three, in your experience, Thomas, what are the biggest pain points that you see for young engineers? Thomas says straight up, lack of confidence. He says they're often afraid to come out of their shell and absorb what the engineering community really has to offer. He says most graduates just apply to jobs online and then they get depressed when they don't hear back, they're not getting opportunities, they're not landing job interviews. His biggest advice and mention is that engineering societies like ASME, American Society for Mechanical Engineers, is literally begging for new members. They want you guys in their communities. With a membership to an engineering society, students can go to conventions, dinners, events, job fairs, all run by these groups for little or no money. I talk about this all the time, guys. Join an engineering society, get involved in these communities. He says ASME even has their own job portal, guys. I didn't even know that. Awesome tip, Thomas. And these are just huge opportunities that can help your career, and he often encourages engineers to give these opportunities a chance. Go out and get 
active. Attend engineering society events, guys. Question number four, what is the biggest mistake that you see young engineers making? Thomas says planning and goal setting. And I love this response because goals have become a big part of my life and I see lots and lots of books talking about writing down your goals, making targets for those goals, deadlines, dates, and then following through on those goals and finding people to be accountability partners for you on those goals. That's my take on goals. What Thomas says about this is that an engineer should be planning their career from sophomore year and onward with decent grades, an internship or two, communication and leadership skills. I think that's a huge one. And a good resume, he or she can get any entry level job out there. He says he honestly believes that. And I believe that too. I would add that building awesome relationships with people, having connections to powerful people is very important as well. So plan, set goals for yourself, get internships, build that resume, volunteer for stuff, get involved with societies, guys, and you're gonna have job opportunities for you when you graduate. And question number five, Thomas, if you have any core takeaways for professional engineering advice, career advice, what would that be and why? Get your EIT, your engineering training certificate as soon as possible, and I totally agree. Thomas also says, even if your field like chemical or biomedical engineering doesn't necessarily require it, you should get it anyways. And I tell this to engineers as well, get it. It's gonna show your ambition, it's gonna allow you to stand out, it's gonna be good for you and your resume, guys. It's not difficult, and just like Thomas says, it's a huge boost to your credentials, and he mentions that it shows employers the technical abilities that you have and you can deploy in their workplace. It shows that you wanna take your career to the next level. His other advice is to practice communication and leadership skills. Again, I totally agree with this. He says that Toastmasters is a perfect example, a perfect opportunity to hone these skills, and I'm sure that's why he's involved. And Thomas concludes that communication and leadership skills will help you in every facet of your career. I agree. Thank you, Thomas. And question number six, what is one book that you would suggest for engineering career support? Thomas says The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. And I've heard of this book. I haven't read it though. It's not on this bookshelf. So thank you, Thomas. I'm probably going to have to add it. And Thomas's final words of wisdom are to take your career by the horns. Do not sit back and expect your dream job to fall into your lap and magically appear before you. You have to go out and capture that dream. You have to take it. You have to be ambitious. So you have to go out and execute you guys and use these tips that Thomas has provided you and you're gonna have an awesome engineering career. So I hope this video summary of my interview with Thomas Anderson was helpful to you guys. If it was, consider subscribing because I release videos three times a week for engineering success. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!